Hey there everybody, Dave McCauley here and welcome back to more Let's Play Hector, Badge of Carnage, Episode 2, Senseless Acts of Justice for the PC. In the last episode we did stuff and things, so let's talk to this guy. That guy looks strangely familiar. He looks like Lurch. I'm gonna need to speak to the manager. <laughs> what? Hey, have you guys got internet? What the hell? He's not even going to say anything to me? You're hindering a police investigation. You're being a big duty head. I'm leaving before this gets ugly. Alright, screw it. We're just going to walk in. No, 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 no. I'm leaving. No, no. Oh, okay. Wait, there's a dress code? <sighs> What's your dress code again? What? Shoot. Got it. I need a shirt. Okay. No idea what I'll that means. Before this gets ugly. Let's uh let's head to Shay's La Buffet. Shay Shay La Buff. Hmm. Um Maybe. Do you recognize this source? Beef on demand. Uh, butterfly, or maybe a ballerina. Butterfly, it's not a blimmin' raw shack test, you jackanape. I was talking about the sauce. Oh, <clears throat> oh, that case. Truth is, it actually looked like a man sodomizing a city bus. What? What can you tell me about the man who ordered this sauce? Are you for real? It's oh, important. it's as real as it gets here, son. By failing to answer correctly, you may be charged with... Public defecation. <laughs> That's amazing. Public defecation? Oh, alright, alright. <laughs> Just don't tell my boss. There's no staff toilet on the premises. Oh, I that's the best. Get lost in the smell of stewed beef. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, I thought that was the stewed beef. Technically, it was once. So, what's this beef on demand then? It's our new service. All you can eat beef delivered right to your door, any cup, any sauce, any time, anywhere. Wow. That's pretty epic, not gonna lie. And that guy sounds like he has something Sweet cancerous inside of him. Why did I not know about this? I think he's gonna be dead be within like ten minutes. Since those hard or less. Beer cans attached. That's right. Beef on demand. You order, we slaughter. Nice slogan. Only rhymes in Britain though. That's true. So, uh, can you confirm with absolute clarity that this sauce came from your restaurant? Confirmed? Well, actually, not absolute clarity. Where did you find it? In an abandoned building in the industrial estate, covering about 200 square feet of the interior. Oh, fiddlesticks. He fiddlesticks? What? Is a delivery driver for beef on demand. What, what, what the hell? So what is your beef on demand driver back at exactly? Killing people with <laughs> with a uh, barbecue sauce? Same old tricks. Waterboarding them with barbecue you sauce? Know, the usual. Actually, I don't know. Enlighten me. Can't grass or he could get done for assault. You're about to get done with assault. Seems I've said too much already. Oh god. Is this British beef I would be clogging my colon with? Do you want the official response? The truth would be a refreshing change. It's actually a South African zebu, but it was processed in Britain so it can be classed as British beef. Lies! The stuff is a zebu. I'm not eating some poncho wearing moustache sporting sorry excuse for a cow. What have you got for someone with no cash or debit card? What have you got for someone with no cash or debit card? Debit card. Oh, don't oh, even. Don't oh, really? even. Free of charge. <laughs> don't even, son. I'm going to beat the holy hell out of you if you give me that middle finger. 
One order of barbecue sauce to go, please. You can't just order sauce. <laughs> oh, God, this guy, I hope he dies. I hope you be dead, son. So, would beef on demand deliver to the industrial estate? Oh, sure. Is that where you found the stain? The industrial estate? Wait a minute. I never said anything about the industrial estate. It's you. You're the terrorist. What? <laughs> that always works on TV. <laughs> Might I be able to speak to your delivery driver from Beef on Demand? I am not at liberty to divulge that information. Oh, you could got a law degree for their birthday. The security of our drivers is of the utmost importance to Shayla. Lame. Bertha. Oh, really? But sending them out into Clapper's Reap with a truckload of meat with nothing to protect them from the horns of ravenous tramps that roam the street is considered good company practice, is it? How do I get hold of this mobile meat machine? Simple. You sign up for the service. <laughs> uh, what? So I have to sign up? How much is the service? Yeah. Our executive beef on demand package has a £500 a month sign up fee. Ooh. You what? I could purchase the car for that. Oh, could, but you still maybe. need to get the number of the driver. Come on, son. Let's not make this any Come on, son. It needs to be. Jesus, Christopher Columbus. Customers only. Son of a beefsteak. All right. I guess I'm going to have to get $500 or Sorry. No, no. I know. 500 pounds. It's not the same thing. Never mind. Not hungry. Oh, that is disgusting. That is what I sound like when I vomit. Right when I start, I'm like... Rrr! You know, you give that big old upchuck hurl, you're like... Rrr! And then it finally comes up like a second or two or five later. Penis. Alright, so let's head over to uh, Doreen's. Because we got this bucket of blood. This guy needed blood. Let's givey givey to bloody bloody creepo. Oh, the pass out. He's gonna die any second guy. Yo, Barry, here's a gallon for ya. Knock yourself out. Oh, thank you, sir. You're a true saint. If only you knew. So, what'll it be in exchange, chum? The sticky labels or the wall planner? Hey, no, uh, none of that. I want the shirt off your back. Hell yeah. Said. The shirt? All right. Well, I didn't think you'd. <laughs> uh, well, see, this is the lucky shirt my dead auntie brought. Too bad. Me. No, it really tugs on me heartstrings. But a deal's a deal. Shirt. He's got you there, Barry. In the face. Well, you drive a hard bargain, friend. It's uh, not a hard bargain. It's very simple. There you go. Hmm. Something doesn't quite feel right. Ah. Ty, there we go. A little neat, it'll do. Hey, I can get into the uh case of the sweats. The furry furnace now. Sweet. Sweet. But uh let's talk to him again. He'll never make the journey back to his family and kids alive. It's sad really. He'll never make the Oh, okay. I was wondering, customer. Son of a... I've given enough blood in the line of duty. Alright, you know what? Since we have the ability to do so, let's... Wait, look at the van. My blood's worth a lot more to me inside my body. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Let's head over to Furry Furnace. Oh, he's out of the way. Looky here. Stand back, big fella. You'll crease the shirt. That's right. Good boy. Might be a biscuit in it. Stand back, big fella. You'll yeah, we already said shirt. this. Yep. Already said Good this. Boy. Might be a biscuit in it. Now we're just gonna walk inside. There we go. All right then, Come on, Hector. Boys, be simple. I'll strip to be sure. How about Hail Mary to see some more? What the hell is wrong with her boys. boobs? Hey, 
guys as I'm working me ones off. Here, you might stay a week. Like They're like boner titties. What the hell? Look, they stick straight out. Hey, guys, what you watching? <clears throat> All right, perverts. DJ. God, God, what you spinning, son? Nice one. What play uh, that next? <laughs> he can't hear me. That is awesome. Let's talk to the whore. Well, she's uh, kind of sexy. If I don't look anywhere above the neck, we'll be loving it. What? Yeah, yeah. If you don't look at anything at all. Uh. Bullets. They ain't free. Son of a bitch. I don't. I don't have any cash. I have one item. This is so sad. Confessional. Oh, right. snap. What have they done to the confessional to rip the last foundations of decency out of this place? This some kind of peep show? Ah, come on, ladies. Open up and give us a look-see. Sit down, my son. Oh, okay. This seems like a nice, dark, quiet, private place to... Uh, sure I want to sit down now. All right. Daddy, -o, I'll play your little game. Boy, how long has it been since your last confession? Hmm. Forty-one. No wait. Forty-two. <laughs> Forty-one. No wait. Forty-two. Forty. Ah, uh, what year is it again? I see. What sins have you committed lately? <laughs> I was taken short at my cousin Victor's wedding reception and cracked in the chocolate fountain. And what do you think might be an appropriate penance for such an atrocity? You don't still have any of those indulgences kicking about, do you? I'm probably going to need a stack. That'd probably do the trick quite nicely. There and I. Are you unburdened? Go in peace, my child. What? What the hell just happened? I don't know. I think this is going to be a short video, guys, but I'm going to leave you with this. So, depending on how you felt about the video, like or dislike, if you felt it was one of your favorite videos, hit that favorite button. And if I haven't already done so and you like what I do, please, please subscribe. I'm Dave McCauley, and this has been yet another episode of Hector, Badge of Carnage, Episode 2, Senseless Acts of Justice for the PC. See you guys next time.